So right now, I've um, started to make my template for the battery. Um, this is gonna be the case for the three batteries. I will have this ABS sheet in, which will be the actual uh, case of the battery. So this is uh, what I've come up with so far. Um, is making this cardboard box as a template so that I can make this box housing for the battery and that is sort of what it's going to look like or something like that what I'll do is I'll cut that out of this ABS heat it up and mould it and then seal it up um, and then I'll have my contained box so then once that's in and contained and all wired up and configured the battery I can then use these balance leads which are configured to each and every one of these batteries um, I can monitor every cell that's in there so that I don't overcharge or overbalance well so I don't overcharge the batteries um, so yeah I'll, I'll leave them like that so if in the future I, I want to add something else, I can. Oh, so the, just a simple template. How I did this was to place this on some cardboard, the batteries. Basically just lean the battery back to where it, where it sits. And then figure out, obviously, the dimensions of the battery just by rolling it back. And then marking that and just literally just cutting it out. Um, rolling it over so that I have both sides and it's just basically the same with that end and then once I've rolled it over it then has an overlap which is there and the same on the other side so that that all configurates as it should and then what I'll do is I'll transfer that onto the ABS plate and uh, cut it and shape it to how I will need it and then seal the battery. What I'll do also is probably put some straps on these so that I can pull the battery out. Um, hopefully it's gonna be um, it's gonna be sufficient enough for what I need it for. So yeah. So here I've found a seat belt type strap that I'm gonna be using for the battery. And I've decided to weigh the batteries completed. It's 22 kilograms, nearly 23. So I've got two pieces of the battery here to make a connection to join both batteries together. Here you can see a closer shot of that. Here I've uh, placed the two batteries side by side into the casing and as you can see the center piece for the third battery. There's the third battery in place and this is how I'm going to have the battery situated. So then I've just used my hot air gun to manipulate the ABS plastic so this is how far I've got so far. We're making the battery. So the idea is to have some straps in there. So if I ever need to want to take the battery out, I can um, literally pull the lot out all at once. When they're all fused together, they're going to be stuck together. These two are at the moment. Um, and then that one's going to be fused to this one and then once they're all wired up this is going to stay in there in case I need to like remove it any time and um, yeah so it's not perfect but it will certainly keep the batteries protected in this um, ABS I've got some stuff there it's like ABS sheet so I've just used the heat gun to uh, to mould it and manipulate it in my um, bench so I can bend it and shape it to the way I need it. It was a bit of um, a mess about but it's done the job so that's that's all I'll really need it for. Um, hopefully it's going to fit in the frame. And I will need to cut um, some of this down so yeah. I think it's gone quite well. I'll only find out once um, 
once I've got it in the bike, if it fits in the bike, um, which I'm hoping that it does. So I customised my Anderson connector cover made from TPU and then started printing it. So after I'd finished the box, I really wasn't that happy with um, with it. It just looked Frankensteinish. I mean, it looks all right, but it wasn't the look that I was looking for. So I totally abandoned this idea and totally went and just, yeah, I just abandoned it. So what I'd done is I started to um, customize the battery up with the tape and make it tight, make it tight and fit and put a plate underneath and still having access to the carry strap which is really good that's more important so yeah very happy about that so now i'm going to use this heat wrap to wrap the batteries to keep it tight and waterproof so that it's going to be nice and secure and safe so yeah all good so yeah here it is after i'd wrapped it in uh, wrap i then went over it in black vinyl because I didn't want the blue. I couldn't find any large heat shrink um, this big. It was only in blue, so I decided to wrap it in vinyl and to go with the rest of the bike. So what do you think? Do you think I should have left it blue or do you think I should have um, done it black how I did it? So yeah, let me know. So here it is, first time charging since I built the battery. Seems to be doing just fine. I need to buy another multimeter because I've blew mine up. So now I need to wait again to get another multimeter and to see how it's charging. So yeah, I'm very happy with this so far. Now it's just a matter of time of uh, testing it. This battery is absolutely huge. Um, you can't really capture that video. So yeah, 